Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple $20 hook. Now, hooks are one of those things that will always sell. They will always sell because people always have the need to hang something up. They're one of the most utilitarian items that you can make, okay? They're one of the most utilitarian items you can make. So, I just wanted to show you guys how this is done. Now, I'm not going to spend real long today explaining the different bits, but we're going to do this kind of a live demo format so you guys can get a sense of the time. So the first step is we want to draw a very blunt taper on the end of the bar, nothing over an inch long. We're going to heat this back up, get it good and hot, and the goal here today is to show you rapid succession of how quickly you can do each one of these steps to create yourself a $20 hook. Now, Urban said before, you know, you know, a lot of guys, they just want to go to big items right away because, you know, well, I can get $150 an item. A lot of times, hooks are your best sellers. They have been for me for a long, long time, ever since I've been selling online. So here we go. We're going to go half on, half off blows. You're going to set it to where about a cube of material is on the anvil. This is 3 8 inch round bar, by the way, guys. Okay. And then we're going to take and just draw out these loads. And essentially what we're making is a spade. Now you can call this a lead. Some might consider it a lead. The goal here is to get the spade-like shape. And then flatten it out. Okay. So there's our first step. So this part here is going to get a hole drilled in it or punched for to hang the hook. Okay? So the next step in this process, the next step in this process, we're going to go ahead, mark off a length here, and we're going to cut it off. Now, you make this as big as you want. I suggest try to get it as proportionate as you can. I'm going to go as wide as my anvil face because I already know that it's six and a half inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off there and then draw out this end into a taper to make the hook. Stick it back in the fire, a lot deeper this time. I'm going to get my cutter up there. Use my soft face hammer. No, I haven't made a new one yet. And no, I haven't dressed out these chips because this is as soft as can be. It's practically lead. And I use it for operations where I gotta hit a cutting end of something. So it cuts the tool and not the actual tool. It cuts the hammer, not the actual tool. So we'll get this good and hot. Like I said, I'm doing this live, so this way you all can see the amount of time it takes. Now instead of cutting the center, I'm just doing it two-sided, because it's good enough. It's going to be a taper anyhow. We're going to stop before it cuts completely off. Twist a bit off. Now, at this stage, you could be making another one of these real quick before you stop. Okay, see how that works? That's time efficiency. It's easier to go on to each step. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just showing you the making of the one. Okay? Straighten all that out. And you can have multiple irons in the fire at this point. Get rid of that. And my scale. So now we've got this locked up. We're going to heat that and draw it out. Mm -hmm. 
So this is just a standard hook. This is just a spade hook. You can make quite a bit of money at these. You can sell these anywhere from $20 all the way up, depending on how big they are, up to $50 if they're a big hook. Uh, and you can even make some smaller ones for like 10 or 15 bucks. All very effective. They don't take real long at the anvil. And it's another way of adding something to your repertoire. I sound all sound all professional and whatnot when I say repertoire. And for anybody who thinks this is easy, managing the cold forge, demonstrating, and talking live to a camera, uh, and you can do it better, that's, I'd like to see it. So I had a guy comment here recently that uh, I could have explained things in 10 minutes or less on my burner video. <laughs> you just can't can't even know how much that bugs a guy like me. But anyways, not the subject of this video. Because we've got people who love to see Roy work watching this video. So all I'm doing is I'm drawing about a three inch long taper. So that's my goal. I'm just back drawing it into the piece. Now, if you're looking for something that's simple and easy and quick and things like that and fast money, there is no fast money in blacksmithing. There's just work. You get to do the work. If you want it to be fast money, you have to be faster. So, now we'll go ahead and round this hook up. Get it good and hot. Be careful of the tip that you don't bring it out sparkling, like I almost did. Get this all rounded up here. You can make this as perfectly round as you want. I leave a little forging character left in. There we go. So, got that nice and round. Now the only thing left to do is to put it on our jig and bend it into a hook. So I'll be right back with you when I'm over at the jig. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and scroll this with a pair of scrolling pliers. They'll come out in the jig, we'll bend it in a hook, and we're done. Okay, update. I decided not to do the jig. Figure I'll end up getting chastised for it. So... I'll do it by hand. Cool off our little rat's tail. Bend it over the horn. Now I highly suggest a jig because that will really help you out in the long run. So. And there we go. There's our jig. Oh. Apparently the guy next door decided he wants to start mowing. But there you are, simple and effective hook, worth 20 bucks, easy. If I posted this today, it would be sold by tomorrow. And that's not a lie. If you're just building your blacksmithing business, consider doing something like this, really easy. And uh, you know, gives you a lot of skills and things that you can do. So, anyways, thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. God bless you all, and we'll catch you on the next one.